Sip of my coffee and it's that hot. And my eyes are watering now. <laughs> That's why you got on sunglasses. That's right. What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. And as you can see, Pops is here. That's right. It's time for another Lawn Care Nut and Lawn Care Nut dad <laughs> in the garage project. Whenever he comes in town, he doesn't get to enjoy himself or he doesn't get to have any fun. I put him to work. So, Pops, That's what are we right. building today? We're going to build a workbench for his garage. Because I need a proper workbench, so then I can have a proper vice, and then I can do a lot of proper other proper things, and I like, taught him everything he knows, which ain't much. So it ain't much. All right, let's Took do it. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> You're gonna vary depending on you know your space, your size, what your walls are made out of, all that kind of stuff. But the basics we're gonna need um, are two by fours, so that'll represent the framing, and then these are one by fours. These are more for decorative edge around the the table. Uh, we'll get to the tools in a minute and then of course your three-quarter inch plywood for the tabletop We got a nice piece of finished plywood uh, Just so we have a nice smooth surface and then here's some of the tools you'll need uh, again I need Tapcom to get into the wall for the ledger board. I think it's called is that the right? That's that what they close call enough. A ledger close enough close enough. All right, so <laughs> see I told you I don't know jack nothing about this stuff So anyway, I need some tap cons. I got to get into block wood screws some finished nails Chisels, because we're cutting. What are we cutting? That we're we going to put in some dados and a couple of rabbit joints. Dad, I have to confess. Did you know that I used to date a girl named Dado? Did you really? She was so cute. Square. We got uh, speed square, and then we got a uh, circular saw, a crappy hammer, pencil, uh, <laughs> so, something to drive screws with. Obviously, tape measure, and then a couple levels. So I don't think we missed anything. And then of course, we always have to have our lawnmowers out on display. So let's check out our site. All right. So we're going to put it right there. And so there was a couple considerations we did just to start with, right? Which was the width. And so we have what, 68 inches, but we're gonna have- 66 and a quarter. You got 66 and a quarter. And that'll include the edging that we're gonna put on it. And then the height we decided on is 36. That's just cause that's comfortable for me. So, and then we're gonna put a little shelf in the bottom. And the depth is gonna be somewhere around 26 and three quarter. Finish. 26. Yeah, and that's perfect because that'll put me out a little bit further than these shelves, but it won't take up too much garage space. So, and then of course we have electrical here, which is why I chose this spot, so. All right, let's get to work. That's it. From the blade to the outside of the table, right here, the inch and a half. Uh -huh. So what I do is I draw my line where I want it. Then I go over an inch and a half and I'll clamp that down and that will become the guide to follow this. Dad, can I do the clamping? You got it. We'll double check that because we measure twice and cut three times and still be too short. All right, so what we're gonna get out of this then is tabletop on one side and shelf on the other. Shelf is not quite as wide because it sits in the back a little, sits back a little bit. So we're gonna be able to get a wide tabletop and then a shelf and then this is, will be left over and not wasted, that's the idea. Setting the saw blade depth. You wanna set it so that it is just barely through the, the wood because you see those little cutouts there in the teeth that's what throws the sawdust out once you go through plus that we don't want to cut into our two before it's very deep we can a little bit but not much talking about these get, that are setting it up off the saw horses yeah we're going to be cutting through those just a whisker oh here how you do that i don't even know how to do that oh you twer I ain't never had one of those. So you don't know how to use the pencil sharpener? Never had that kind of a pencil sharpener. I had the round kind that goes when you put it in there. Yeah. You know, the electric type. Uh -huh. I'm not into use, not used to this. You're not used to these manual ones. This manual stuff. They're so meta. Yeah, that's right. There, there. Now, see how you do that with the pencil sharpener? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. Standing out here looking at your bench, the face of this we want to set it so that it looks pretty, right? The face of the two by four. The face of the two by four, because it's going to be exposed. Okay. At least part of it will be. So you're getting the prettiest so, one. Let's get the one that you like the best. 
It's got some extremely pretty striations. Yeah, but it also got those nickings. Okay? That looks good to me. Now what we want to do is we want to come on a 45 degree angle. All right, quick overview. So you can see these are those kerfs here, right here. Going across for bracing, the 45s on the outside, just butt jointed on the end, and this leaves us a room for the uh, little shadow line that's gonna go across the end there. And then this is the ledger board for the shelf that will go on the bottom. <laughs> So that's where the shelf will rest in there, yes, uh -huh. and the shelf's three quarter thick. Right, so we just so have to notch out three quarter right there. That's well, this going back. Yeah. One nail deal. Set it and hit it in one time. Go ahead. Oh. Ah, yeah, he tried. Ah, uh, two. Oh, <laughs> tried.
Try again. I used this big old walnut hammer. Is that what it is? <laughs> You're no good but for we're cracking gonna, walnuts? That's right. We're going to blame it on that anyway. <laughs> you need to clean the head of that thing. Oh, is that? So it's my fault for having yeah. a dirty head? That's right. It's yours. It's you for watching all the way to the end and by the way happy thanksgiving i hope that your thanksgiving was filled with times with your family like mine was here with my dad and i appreciate you guys letting me make these videos you guys know that it's uh, any excuse i can use to spend time with my dad i'm going to do it and when i can film it and share it with you guys i hope that you guys appreciate that as much as we enjoy making them with that if you'd like to get an elcian branded snapback hat like this one or a trucker hat or even t-shirts we've launched a store now you can find that at thelawncarenut.com or just Google search The Lawn Care Nut. It'll come up or you can click the link in the description below. All of this just in time for Christmas. And actually, if you use the coupon code that I put in the description below, you'll get 15% off your order. With that, I hope you guys have a great holiday season here. Stay tuned. I've got Christmas light videos coming up really, really soon. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, The Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you on the roof. <laughs>